you guys what's going on it's me destiny here and i'm coming to you with a quick i always say quick but i know this video is probably going to be like 15 minutes long but i'm going to try to speed through it without sounding crazy this is going to be a quick summer essential video now i'm so late making this video it's because it's year-round summer in california so sometimes i forget that it's summer like literally I don't know so I just want to go ahead and jump in really fast everything I have on my face is pretty much a summer essential so I'm going to talk about that I have a look coming up for this face this is my super um, easy daily facial highlighted contour look type of face so um, what I have on right now is my new fashion fair foundation I absolutely love it I'm in love with this foundation this is the Fashion Fair Perfect Finish Souffle, Ma Souffle Makeup, and it is skin perfecting, full coverage, oil free, 100% um, fragrance free foundation. I absolutely love it. The only thing that I think I actually just noticed is the fact that it does not have any sunscreen in it, but that's fine because I have on the sunscreen. But I absolutely love this foundation. For summer, I always need my perfect go-to foundation. Something that's going to be good whether I'm a little lighter or a little darker. And I find that that foundation is perfect and it's inexpensive and you get so much. And I'm just loving it, loving it even more now that I found out that Sam Fine is the creative director for Fashion Fair. So claps and rounds of applause for fashion fair um as you can see on my cheek i have kind of like a corally i need a coral blush year round but especially in the summer it makes me happy it looks great on my skin tone all my friends can share the same blush with me my black friends my white friends my asian friends my hispanic friends we can all wear the same blush so if you're sitting in the back of a cab in the summer you need to have a coral blush that you can share it with all your friends this is my tie from milani another one that i absolutely love is from La Femme Makeup and that's right here now this is a lot of a brighter coral but again all skin tones can wear this it's absolutely beautiful I love it every time I every time I start talking about this blush I start to stutter because this blush is my favorite one of my favorite blushes of all times I actually have one more here to show you that I actually just noticed I pulled out this one is called Coralina and this is from Milani it's a really really glowy blush and I actually think I have a bit of this on today not too sure but this is Coralina absolutely gorgeous it has some coral and some peach and some gold and some silver and it's just really really pretty I love Milani blushes Milani is on top of the blush game in the drugstore. You guys know that, right? Okay. Another thing I need for summer is bronzer. And I know a lot of you are like, but you're bronze, dude. You're about as bronze as they get. Now, I like this bronzer in particular because it's Milani and it's shimmery and it's pigmented and it's awesome. You get a lot for the price. I think this was like six or seven dollars, which is not terrible. But I like to use bronzers as a highlighter and also in the way you would traditionally use a bronzer, which is across your cheeks, nose, forehead type thing to make you look like you've been in the sun. I like this because I like to amp up the yellowness in my skin, yellow goldy tones. So you can just take this and brush this across your face. You're going like a million bucks. I absolutely love this one. I love Sizzle from NYC. I think they come in like the little pots. I have to find it. I have to shop my collection for that. But one of my all-time favorite bronzers, if you've been subscribed to me for more than, let's say, two years, then you probably are familiar with Princess. I absolutely love this bronzer from Wet n Wild. It's very soft. It's very pigmented. It goes on the skin very easily. And it looks really, really great on the skin. It looks great on all skin tones. If you're a little bit lighter than me, then you can use this as kind of like a blushy contour bronzer along the sides of your face. If you're my tone darker, even a little bit lighter, you can use it kind of as like a highlighter type of traditional bronzer type of feel. Another thing I need in my life is light foundation because sometimes like if you're going to go to Six Flags or Disney World or Knott's Berry Farm or some type of theme park, amusement park or fair, you're going to be running around, you're going to be sweating, you're going to get makeup on your clothes, you're going to be getting wet. I want a little bit of coverage but not too much so it's gonna rub off all over my friends and my clothes and everything so I have two here I have the Maybelline BB cream I also have my Smashbox camera ready BB cream 
and then I have my NARS um, tinted moisturizer I love all three of these you got three different price points each one of these has their own benefit the NARS smells fantastic and has a little bit of a shimmer in it I absolutely love it this is a little bit more of a red tone so if you're my skin tone but you're a little bit more on the red side then this would be awesome for you I'll have a review in the bottom bar this is my Smashbox BB cream I love the way this dries it kind of has I don't want to say a matte finish but it kind of I don't know it controls oil and it has more of a drier finish than my NARS so I love this and this is a little bit more to the yellow side and I will have a review on this now this is the BB cream I actually tried this yesterday from Maybelline I really really like it I tried it because uh, Thomas Adriana used it and I was like that looks really cool I'm gonna have to try that out and I did and this one is called so this is the one dark this is the BB cream dark I don't have a review yet but will very soon I really really like this BB cream from what I tried yesterday it has a good finish and a good color um, payoff so that's really really cool another thing I always need for summer is some really pretty bright colors so I have a nude this is actually Revlon pink truffle I will actually this is their um, lip butters so I will have a link in the bottom bar to a swatch of all the colors on my lips and then I actually just used this in a tutorial my pixie woo tutorial so I will have that color able to be seen I just did a favorite pink lip color and this one is called sweet tart it's also a lip butter from Revlon you gotta love a nice soft pink on my lips right now I actually have an NYC lip color on top of a nude lipstick this is NYC in 316 And it's just a very bright, pretty, soft pink color. And as you can also see, it looks great on my skin tone. And it's pretty low maintenance because they're really moisturizing. And they actually almost go on like a really creamy balm. Surprisingly enough, I didn't talk about these first. But they're actually kind of the most important step in makeup for summer. And that's primers. These are all some sort of primer. This one here is a Clear Effects. Um, clear prep and this is a mattifying primer that actually also helps to control acne it's a matte foundation primer and anti-acne treatment gel I believe that this yes it has salicylic acid in it so if you have acne and also oily skin which usually go hand in hand you're gonna want to look into this for summer because it's gonna help your makeup stay on longer and it's also gonna help to treat if you're having any breakouts um, this is an eye primer and this is from LA Splash and this is their splash proof eye primer it's also a glitter base so if you like to get festive in the summer like I do with a little bit of extra eye makeup this is going to be awesome for you you can find this in Ulta I really really like this it's great for glitter it's great for eyeshadow and if you're the type of girl who likes to apply it under your eye so your under eye makeup doesn't crease then go for it I have not tried that yet but I've heard great things about that product for that purpose my Becca primer, which actually everyone says is always so expensive, this is an expensive primer, but this is the type of primer that can take your cheap foundation and raise its game. This will make your foundation step its game up. No matter what foundation I use over this, it lasts longer. If you have a good foundation that's not lasting you, try and invest in a good primer. Now this is not necessarily a primer, but this is the La Roche-Posay and Thelios, and this is some of the most effective sunscreen I've ever used and I love to use this in the summer on my face my neck my shoulders really everywhere but especially the points that can be seen easily by the eye and camera because I'm pretty vain it's very very effective it's very thin and it's matte and it's an SPF of 60 one more foundation that I meant to add to my other foundations this is my makeup forever matte velvet plus absolutely wonderful foundation now the only problem I have with this foundation is that I seem to have a hard time finding a color to fit me. I have like three colors. I mix them together to create my perfect foundation color. But it's an awesome foundation. It's mattifying. If you have oily skin and you like high coverage, what? then you're definitely going to want to look into yeah. makeup forever. Okay. Um, this is my Vichy Derma Blend powder. If you guys are familiar with Vichy or even Derma Blend, then you know that they're both high quality names in the beauty market. I absolutely love this powder. It is 16 hour wear setting powder. How you use this is with a puff. You do your makeup, you take your puff, you apply it up there very heavily. You let it sit for three minutes and then you brush it away and your foundation will not budge. I wore this out one night with my friends. I went to her house, passed out with my makeup on and woke up 
And she said, oh my god, did you redo your makeup? And I was like, no, I never washed it all. Blah. This stuff is awesome. I really, really love this stuff. I have to start using it again. It's really, really great. It even helps to make the bombest matte lipstick that will stay on your face forever and will not rub off on a collar or a cheek or your hair won't get stuck to your huge lips or anything. I love this. This is my little eyeliner, um, powder eyeliner palette from Sonia Kashuk. I wanted to show you this because it has my favorite colors in it. It has black, purple, green, brown, and uh, blue. And they're really, really great to either go over a cream liner or to use by themselves. I love this. That's actually what I have on my eye right now. Just a little bit of the black smoked out. They're super pigmented and awesome. That's what that looks like right here. Love these for the summer. If you're in a car with a few Q-tips and you want to just get your Winona Ryder on the smoky liner. I just love Winona Ryder. Then you can do it with My video is going to be long. Okay, I have a few more lip colors just to boast really quickly. You got to have a nude for the summer, a nude lip. If you want to do your super sexy bronze goddess and you have on your bronzer, you need your nude lips. So this is Mischievous Mocha from Revlon. I absolutely love it. It has the little lip brush type of thing. So if you have lips that have a definite shape, which can be really good sometimes, but you need to be more precise with your application, Revlon has these awesome cream glosses that have the awesome brush. You gotta have a beautiful pink. I've just been drinking Kool-Aid all afternoon lip stain. This is Love Stick from Revlon, just bitten. Very light, minty scent, and they're a great price. They remind me of the Lip Chubbies or the Chubby Pencils from, I think it's Clinique, no, Tarte. They're great. I actually tried those out, but don't own any, and I may pick up a few. Now these few are from Milani. I absolutely love Milani. I love these. They're kind of like lip butters. This is kind of like a coral color. And this is Ignition from Milani. I love the fact that these kind of roll up. They don't roll back down, do they? <gasps> they do. They do roll back down. They never roll back down. Well, these roll back down and they're kind of sexy and they're black and gold. Kind of little outfit. Really cute. Gotta love that. That's Ignition, kind of like a coral color. And then I have Raspberry Blush, which is like the color of my lips, plus a little bit, not the color on my lips, the color of my natural lips. And I like this because sometimes in the summer it's hot, it's balmy, you're crazy. I let my eyebrows grow out because I need my eyebrows in the summer. I let my eyebrows grow out by using castor oil. So like my eyebrows aren't even like done to death today. These are my natural eyebrows. but. Sometimes you're just like your, you know, tinted moisturizer, shades, a little bit of brow powder, you know, and then you want like a natural lip color. You're not feeling like being, you know, tousled with. You don't want anyone flirting with you. You just want to be calm. It's hot. It's muggy. I absolutely love a natural lip color for days like that. So raspberry blush. If you've seen the color of my natural lips, then it's kind of like that color. This one is called Classy Nude, which I actually have on underneath my NYC. And I like this because this is like a nude that's great for dark skin. It's very, very moisturizing. And it's not too pink or too yellow. So hopefully you can see that. I hate doing those type of swatches. But since everybody always says they have such a hard time finding a good nude, let me... When I take off a lipstick, I like to go back in and... Get a little bit of the foundation around my lips just to make sure that there's foundation all the way around my mouth. Okay, so there that is, and that's Classy Nude from Milani. Absolutely love it. Very moisturizing. Kind of just adds a little bit of a sex appeal to your look that's light and easygoing. Okay, and that's another nude also from Revlon, and this one is called Mocha Silk, and this is from their color stay line, and it's a lot glossier, and it's a little bit more pigmented, but as you can see, it's another nice nude. I'm a little bit wired. Let me calm down. As always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I hope this video was helpful. These are all my summer essentials. I'm going to get out of here. This video was very long. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same.